Kevin Cole with you. And we got a lot of love in the room right now in the performance space and a lot of love for my next uh, artist, Michael Franti and Spearhead. Welcome back Thank to you, KEXP. Man. It's so great to be here. And this place is incredible. You might not be able to feel it at home because you can't see it, but you're going to feel it in the musical vibes that are coming through this new studio you guys have. It's like, yeah, wow. It's amazing, right? Yeah. People are feeling it for sure. Nice. Um, so it's great having you here playing Bumbershoot tonight. You're on at 9.30 at the uh, Fisher Green stage. But uh, how about a couple songs to get going, then sure. we'll talk about the new album. And- well, this, this first tune that, that we're going to do is on the new record, and uh, you just mentioned Freddie McGregor. It was yeah, yeah. produced by um, the son of Freddie McGregor, Stephen McGregor, who is known as the, the genius. And when I first heard his name, somebody said, you know, you should work with the genius, Mike. I was like, this guy's got to be either, like, really incredibly large cojones yes. to call himself the genius <laughs> or he's actually got to really be like a genius, you know? And, uh, and, turned, and, he, and he was both? Turned, turned out he had both, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he started producing records when he was 13 in Jamaica wow. and um, he's like 24 now and he's, he just finished Shakira's album and he does everything from uh, reggae bands to hip hop and punk rock and dance hall and everything in between. So Very he really cool. is like a prodigy. You typically don't use many other producers, right? Not really. Yeah, but this record, we did the whole thing with um, with Steven and with this other guy named Super Dupes, who is, um, I was working with them separate in different studio in the same studio, but in different rooms. And then one day we collaborated on a track, and I just said, you know, Dupes, can you come and help us in with the drums? And then he never left, so we ended up doing the <laughs> nice. all together together. Yeah, very cool. Michael Frontin Spearhead live on KEXP. Saturday, looking for a way to get myself to Saturday, looking for a way to get myself to Saturday, looking for a way to get myself to Saturday, looking for a way to get myself to Saturday, looking for a way to get myself to Saturday, looking for a way to get myself to Saturday, looking for a way
today. And uh, it goes like this. Every day I wake up and turn my phone on. I read the news of the day just as it's coming down. I do my best not to let it get me down. I try to keep my head up, but this is Babylon. This world's in crisis. We try to fight it. This changing climate with scientists and with politicians divided by it. so many ways we can solve it. They were never signing This mountain's tumbling down But still we try to climb It's in the Torah, Quran And in the Bible Love is the message But somehow we turn to rivals It's come to people Always picking up their rifles Another school getting shot up Homicidal Some people trying to fly Some people trying to get high Some people losing their minds Some people trying to get by When you look in my eyes You see the sign of the times That we are looking for the same thing Yeah what if this song was number one? Would it mean that love had won? Would it mean that the world was saved? And no guns are being shot today. What if everybody had a job? And nobody had to break a law? What if everyone could say, yeah, yeah. That it's good to be alive today. Yes, it's good to be alive today. Oh, oh, oh. It's good to be alive today. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, it's good to be alive today. Oh, oh, oh. It'd be used to the safer when they would hear a siren. Like help is on its way, but now they only think of violence. Another youth in the streets and police is in a conflict. And now we hear the guns click. Yo. For the crisis and ISIS is taking heads off A drone is bombing the village and now the kids are Signing up to be soldiers but they are winning now To do the killing now, or are you winning now? Some politicians out there making them some problems Trying to tell the people that they can solve them With TV shows and sound bites and quotes But everybody knows that it's all about the cash flow They're telling you and me, we're making progress But tell it to the millions of jobless it's like a players club with billions of dollars to get the votes you got to make it rain in congress some people trying to fly some people trying to get high some people losing their mind some people trying to get by when you look in my eyes you see the sign of the times we are looking for the same thing yeah but what if this song was number one would it mean that love had won would it mean that the world was saved and no bombs are being dropped today what if everybody had a job and nobody had to break a law? What if everyone could say, yeah, yeah, that it's good to be alive today? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, it's good to be alive today. Oh, oh, oh. That it's good to be alive today.
love had won Would it mean that the world was saved And no guns are being shot today What if everybody had a job And nobody had to break a law What if everyone could say That it's good to be alive today Insanely topical song and a message we all need to hear. Thank you so much. Michael Franti and Spearhead, good to be alive today. Yeah. Thank you. Um, there's a really cool video for that song. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of what I like about it is there's like kind of midway through the song, there's kind of a transformative moment where uh, prior to that, there's been a kind of people holding a frame uh, around their their, their heads, right? Yeah. Kind of a picture frame, yeah. sort of like they're in the picture. Uh, and they're, they're all looking just pretty straightforward. And then all of a sudden they're all smiling. Yeah. Um, wh where did the folks that uh, you got for that uh, video come from? Um, they're all in Denver. We, we just went out on the street in Denver where we were filming it. And um, we just had a two person film crew, myself and a guy with the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we had this gold picture frame and we just walked down the street and we asked people, do you want to be in this video? And, um, you know, first when you ask people, somebody on the street, like, hey, you want to do something? Yeah, they're always defensive. They're always, oh, what is it? You know, is it going to cost me something? Do I got to do something? And then when we told them what the song was about, about like waking up every day, reading the news and feeling like, man, this world is just, it's just like exploding in front of our eyes every day. There's the attack in Orlando. Then there's the, you know, police shooting civilians and the civilians shooting police and then a bombing in Turkey, a bombing in Baghdad. And then all this within the context of the election and uncertainty in our economy. Um, people said, yeah, I want to be in that video. I want to be part of that. And so, you know, we just asked people to think about what were things that they were concerned about in the world right now. And that was the first part of the video. And yeah, then yeah. we asked them later to think about things that made them feel happy and grateful to be alive. And, and that's really what the tune is about. It's like a song of gratitude that there is no better time to be alive than right now. Because it's um, if you want to be a difference maker in the world, there are so many things that need to be addressed that you can just go outside your front door pretty much and be, be a difference maker. Yeah, you've always been... Um kind of a champion of hope and inspiration and uh, optimism. And I was going to, uh, I'm just curious, and you, your lyrics have always been incredibly positive and inspiring, um, and you just rattled off a litany of kind of heavy things going on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how, how do you maintain that focus, and what do you want to do through music, and has your outlook changed from, like, beaten eggs to, yeah. um, you know, disposable heroes to, you know, through the 20 years... 22 years of spearhead now yeah well i make music for one reason which is that i believe in people in the planet and i want uh, everybody who is part of this planet to be happy healthy and equal and if people aren't feeling that then there's things that need to be addressed and um so there's many days when I'm just like anybody else. I'm up and down. I yeah. feel frustrated. I feel, you know, joyful. I feel happy. But I believe that optimism is something that you practice, like shooting free throws. You know, Steph Curry didn't get yeah. amazing just like overnight. He went out every morning and practiced. And it's the same thing. If, if your default mode is to go to like negativity and to this downward spiral of, of, you know, negative affirmations in your head, then you're going to always go to that. But if your default mode becomes, oh, yeah, you know, the elevator broke, but, you know, I'm getting to have this great fun conversation with somebody in here, you know, that I've never met before. If you go to that place, it becomes more natural to do that. And if all else fails, chocolate. <laughs> it works every time. I was going to say music. Yeah, music. <laughs> music, music is, chocolate, music, coffee. Yeah, yeah, they all work. Uh, <laughs> exercise. Yeah. Yeah, they all do work together, and uh, music for sure. And your, your um, performances are... Um, you know, they're just these incredible bonding experiences and very liberating. Mm. Um, tell me about the live performance for you and how you view that day in and day out. Well, I'm a music fan first before I was ever a musician. And um, I used to go to lots of shows when I was a kid. And there'd be times when, you know, we'd buy the cheapest seat way, way, way in the back. And the artist would point in our direction and, and we'd be in like section triple Z, you know. And, yep, been there. And, and we go, 
he just looked at us. I swear to God, he just looked at us, you know? <laughs> and and um, so we try to create that kind of atmosphere for everyone at our show. So I take my guitar and a headset mic and I go run through the whole audience and I get out there with people. And um, when I go to a show, the feeling that I always leave with, no matter who it is that's playing, whether it's an opera or a kid's band or it's, you know, U2 in a, a stadium, um, I always leave with this feeling of like I'm a little bit taller and this sense of like, God, I'm going to go out in the world and face whatever's next. I just felt this like incredible sensation of music and togetherness and words and, and that word sound power, as we say. And um, um, I, I, I thrive off that and I, and I want to share that with other people. Yeah. You'll be sharing it tonight at uh, Fisher Green stage at 930, part of Bumbershoot. Um, I want to talk about your guitar for a sec because yeah. it's amazing. If we can get some video shots sure. of this, that guitar looks like it's been around the world it's, a couple times and must have some yeah. amazing stories associated with it. Yeah, you know, this guitar, it, um, you know, if you're just listening at home, it's it's well-worn. It it's is got, beat up. Yeah, the rubber plug that goes in the hole it seems to be falling inside <laughs> right now because there's not enough wood to hold it in there. But um, it's it's just been played by me a lot, and it's really the only guitar I play of a backup in case I break a string, but it, that's a pretty lonely guitar. It rarely gets played. And um, I let any kid play it, anybody strum it who wants to play it on the street, play it in whatever venues we're in. I play it in my house, in my living room. And it's named after my grandma, um, uh, Grandma Brown, who was an incredible optimist. She lived to be 97 years old. She worked as a domestic cleaning people's homes until she was into her 90s. Wow. And... Um, so um, when I went to go visit her, one of her last times, I got a, I got a call, and they said, Michael, Grandma's in the hospital. You better come. It, you know, it's, it's nearing the end. And so I go rushing on tour to have a day off and walk into the room. She's on a heart meter. She's got tubes up her nose, and I'm really scared. My palms are sweaty. I walk in. I say, you know, Grandma, why are you in the hospital? She kind of wakes up. She goes, because I'm pregnant. I said, Grandma, who got you pregnant? Reverend Mitchell. Who you think got me pregnant? She's like, I'm old. That's why I'm in the hospital. Why you think? You know, so she just had this amazing way of transforming any situation that seemed dire into something that was, like, funny and hopeful, you know. And I, I was like, Grandma, you got to eat this delicious green jello and beef bouillon that they've served for you in the hospital or you're not going to get better, you know. And she's like, no, nah, I don't want that. And I go, what do you really want, Grandma? She goes, I want a Butterfinger. Wow. <laughs> and so I went and I got her like a king-size Butterfinger, and we ate it together in the hospital. And the next day she started feeling better. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, if you're listening at home, don't try this. But um, but um, she was just had that kind of spirit like, you know, I'm going to do what I want, whatever situation I'm in, I'm going to be you know happy with the people that i love and and um I, I, so that's that's why i named this guitar after butterfinger uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> mama brown that's so yeah. cool that is awesome it's amazing those kind of moments you know birth death um i had a experience like that with my dad you know uh, on his last day he was pretty lucid well actually he was fading away, right? And there was a point where we thought, okay, this is it. So we were all saying a prayer around him. And uh, he kind of opens his eyes and he goes, I'm not dead yet. Get me a sandwich. <laughs> 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 you know, so just making us all laugh, right? Yeah. He was aware of that enough. Yeah. So uh, that was funny. Um, the new album, it's, uh, it's Soul Rocker. And uh, what does Soul Rocker mean to you? Well, a soul rocker to me is a person who lives from their heart and who has compassion for all and who has a tenacious enthusiasm for music, for life, and for the planet. And um, I like that, tenacious enthusiasm. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I um, thrive off of. And that's, you know, all of us who are in the band and everybody in our crew has that sort of like just desire to pursue, you know, life and joy through music and getting through pain. We, we were in um, 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 Byron Bay a couple of years ago and we were playing, it's the Byron Bay Blues and Roots Festival. So I was doing this press conference and um, George Clinton was in the press conference and um, 
I said, George, you know, you're you're a, you're a funk artist. You know, why, what are you doing at this like quote unquote blues festival? And he said, well, you know, blues is, uh, or he said, funk is just the blues sped up. And he goes, what I mean by that is it's like your blues is like your time to like express your sadness. And then when you pass through your sadness, then you get to the other side. Then you're in the funk side, the celebration side. And um, he said, sometimes you don't have to go through the sadness to just jump right into the funk. You can just, you can just go straight there. Yeah. And think of some of that funkadelic stuff, uh, Maggot Brain. That's a heavy yeah, song. That's yeah, blues for yeah, sure. Yeah. It's Michael Fronte and Spearhead live on KEXP playing tonight, uh, part of Bumper Shoot at the Fisher Green stage. Uh, thanks for bringing the whole band. Yeah. Do you mind introducing everybody? Sure, this yeah. is great. Well, come over here, Yaz. This is uh, Yasmin Brown. She's from... Hi, everyone. Yeah. She's from <laughs> Kingston, Jamaica, and she sang Welcome. all over the new record, and um, so we're blessed to have her on tour with us yeah, over there. Nice yeah. <laughs> That's Jay Bowman on the there guitar. And Manas Itene from Lagos, Nigeria on the drums. Welcome. Carl Young and I, we've been playing music together for 22 months. I'm uh, 22 years and 10 months. Wow. Here it is. Coming up <laughs> on 23 years. Hey, everybody. What's going on? And Mike Blankenship over there on the piano. And he rarely gets to play an actual piano. So give him a little something. <laughs> give us a little. Give us a little something, Mike. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That's the new bumper for your show. <laughs> there, there we go. It's great. And now we go to a commercial on KXP. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. <laughs> That's right. We don't. Uh, Michael Frontin Spearhead live on KXP. How about a couple more songs? Sure. Yeah. This is one I wrote for my uh, son, Cappy, a couple years ago. He, he graduated from um, high school. And I remember the day that he graduated, I was filled with this overwhelming, like, flutter of emotion of... Thank you, Jesus, he graduated. <laughs> but um, really, you know, a lot of sadness came up. And a few years later, he hopped on a Greyhound bus and he headed off for New York City by Greyhound from our home in San Francisco. And the day that he left, I wanted him to have a song that I would just tell him how much that I believe in him and whatever his journey is. And this is that song. Another morning has come and the sun is high But I know that today is the day that I might cry Because I know you're going And I know you're leaving To somewhere hope to find the peace of mind you're seeking In the back of a Greyhound bus it'll take you far In the back of a Greyhound bus you can be who you are So I say La 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 I got love for you, love for you So I'll be waiting my dear, waiting right here I'll be waiting my dear, waiting right here I'll be waiting my dear, waiting right here Life for the crazy road It's been a long time That I should have said what I tell you now But I got faith in you And I believe in you So I say In the dark of the night In the hotel when you're alone In the middle of the city Where nobody cares to know On the top of the town In the glimmer of the shining lights You just shine on now You just shine on now so we say, la 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 I got love for you, love for you We say, la 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 I got love for you, love for you So come on, come on, come on, come on Wait, wait, wait. 
back of a Greyhound bus, it'll take you far. In the back of a Greyhound bus, you can be who you are. So I say, la 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 la. I got love for you, love for you. La 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 la. I got love for you, love for you. La 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 la. It's a great theme song to have running through your head. Yeah, man. Heading across the country. Yeah. Uh, kind of on a related theme, could you tell me a little bit about uh, uh, the Do It For the Love Foundation? Sure. Um, my wife, uh, Sara, is an emergency room nurse. And we'd been trying for a couple of years to try and figure out a way that we could combine something that she does and what I did. And so we started to do it for the Love Foundation, which is basically like a Make-A-Wish Foundation for music. So we invite people with advanced stages of life-threatening illness and children and adults with special needs and wounded veterans to go see any live concert they want to see in North America. Wow. So we've sent people to everything from Garth Brooks to Metallica to the opera to... Um, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce concerts to, um, um, you know, uh, we never thought we'd buy as many Taylor Swift tickets <laughs> in my life as I have. <laughs> but she's our most popular artist. But it, it's been a really um, amazing experience. It started from um, meeting a, a man and his wife. Uh, he His name is Steve December, and he has very advanced stages of ALS. So by the time I met him, he could only talk in whispers and couldn't move any part of his body except his the shape of his lips a little bit. And um, his wife said, you know, he wants to meet you, Michael. It could be the last show he ever goes to. So we did. And then we brought him out on stage, and they danced on stage in, in front of, like, 20,000 people at this festival. And, like, I started crying. I looked over at my bandmates. They're crying. And, and Sarah was, too. And so after the show, we said, let's do this for as many people as we possibly can. So in the last um, three, we just had our three-year anniversary a couple of days ago, and we've... Um, sent uh, over 600 families to see shows. That's incredible. So uh, if you're listening at home and if you have a friend or family member who needs music in that way, just write to us at doitforthelove.org and we'll get you out to see any concert you want to see. Cool. We'll post that link on the, uh, the real-time playlist as well. The healing power of music. Yeah. Let's have some more. Right Michael on. Franti and Spearhead live on KXP. I knew that I had to say I wanna love you every morning and night and day 
Your smile's like sensi to my brain, baby Come on, save me I lost my mind hey, 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 hey. This world's gone out of control again Look every second when I pick up my phone again I know the story about a person that the government is messing with They tell me what's the message of a terrorist And in the ocean there's an oil spill, it's killing fish And corporations who are buying up the politics We lost our mind They say I'm crazy But if I'm crazy, I'm crazy for you Crazy And if we all go crazy Then I wanna go crazy Michael Franti and Spearhead live on the afternoon show. Uh, that was the uh, lead single, Crazy For You, from the new album, Soul Rocker. Mind doing one more? Sure. Be awesome. What do you guys want to play? Uh, what's that? My Lord. What, my Lord? Oh, my Lord. Play. All right, this is a tune that... Uh, it's kind of inspired by... It's kind of autobiographical. You know, I grew up in this family where I was adopted... My birth mother is Irish, German, and Belgian. My birth father is African American and Native American. I was adopted by the Franti family, who are second generation immigrants from Finland. And they had three kids of their own. And they adopted myself and another African American son. And I have one sister who's a lesbian, and I have one brother who's a police officer. Wow. <laughs> so I grew up in this very mixed household. And my mom was a school teacher. She taught primary education in California public schools for 35 years. So every day she'd go to school teach 30 kids and then she'd come home to this house full of five kids who would just be like ripping the whole place apart and she'd come in and just be like ah, ah, you know and um but she was a very very tough lady and a very loving lady and had a very strong moral compass and one of the things that she was most insistent on was that when we went out into our neighborhood to play with other kids it didn't matter if the kid went to a different school or if they went to a church or a mosque or a synagogue or if they spoke a different language at home or if they were Jewish like the Schwartzes next door or Korean like the Kims across the street or Mexican like the Gonzaleses down in the other corner. We were supposed to treat, or if they had two moms or two dads, we were supposed to treat every kid that we met the way that we expected to be treated, perhaps even a little bit better than the way that we expected to be treated. And, you know, right now it's like a super challenging time in our country for us as um, and just as individuals trying to deal with the stresses of life here and as families trying to get by and as um, um, a nation trying to, you know, work sort of a, uh, going through our teenage years, yeah, it feels lot, like, you know. There's a lot going on, and yeah. then with the election, too, it's yeah, bringing up all sorts of crazy issues. Yeah. Um, and and I, I really believe, and I grew up in a house of people that believe that um, no one should ever live in shame or fear or threat of violence for being their authentic self, no matter your you know, who, who you are as a person, uh, your, your sexual identity, your, your race, your, your, your interests in life, whatever it is, you should be able to be yourself. And um, so that's what this song is, is about. It's about how all of us find different ways to, to peace. And you know, some people find it through religious practice or spirituality or yoga or meditation or just taking a walk in the park. A lot of us find it through music. So, Yay, Mom. Yeah, here it goes. <laughs> My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord Show me all the things I need to know My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord Take me to the place I need to go When I was born 
I was alone Spent the rest of my life Finding my way home I chose a long road But it walked on me instead I saw a sign there And this is what it said Oh, get the time we're giving Mine ain't over so I keep on living We all get the life for a living But ours ain't over so we keep on giving I die, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Show me all the things I need to know. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Take me to the place I need to go. Here we go. So awesome. Michael Fronte and Spearhead live on the afternoon show. It's so great to have you here. It's always Thank you, man. just such a pleasure to have you. I was trying to think back. We met 20... Yeah. Four years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been, been it. Well. Rev 105, Minneapolis, yeah. we were, first I was, record. I was six and you were three. Right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. right? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a grade school Yeah, back in Minneapolis. So, uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. It's it's always great to have you on the show thank and you, at man. the station. And uh, 
Um, so thank you, and thank you for being so generous with your time and yeah. uh, having the whole band here. Thank you, guys. Thanks thank you. for everybody who's been supporting KEXP and making it grow to this incredible institution that it is. I mean, it's so rare. I, we, you know, we travel around a lot of, um, you know, stations around the country, and and um, not every city, you know, supports like like they do here. So keep it up. Yeah, we're well aware that we feel that uh, it's just a palpable sense of community now, not just here in Seattle, uh, you know, having the new home. It's amazing because we have a space for people to come in daily and yeah. uh, and you can see it and you can feel it. But, uh, but man, it's just been amped up and you can feel the just the global connection. Yeah, yeah people feel it around the world, you know. Um, it's one of the great things, you know, so, so much of... Um, the discussion around music and the internet, and at least in the music industry, has been negative. It's like, oh, you know, there's download and yeah. CD sales have gone down. And all that, all that's true, and it does make it uh, a challenge to figure out new ways of for artists and labels to 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 keep uh, the doors open. But um, the great thing is that people anywhere can like tune into KXP, KXP from any part of the world, yeah. and and um, we can also, you know. Uh, find music from other places that we never would have imagined before in our homes wherever we are, so it's cool. Yeah, 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 on a bunch of different levels. The the industry part needs to be figured out, but think about somebody living in some really rural place and, and now being able to have access to music being made anywhere and yeah. everywhere. And I know as from a DJ point of view and from the station perspective, you know, we, we get sent, you know, files, MP3s of artists, you know, that maybe made it in their basement that morning that yeah. have no record label, that never have had a label. And if, and if the music's good, we're going to play it, you know. So that's, that's a, awesome. a sense of hope and optimism for artists. And we, we see artists as, you know, a core constituency that we serve, you know. And, uh, we, you know, we're just out to find and play the best music, the greatest music being made and because... The, the KXP community is a mus they're music lovers. Just, they they want to mm -hmm. hear the best music. They don't care yeah. where and when and who. You yeah. know, if it's good, they want to hear. Chart it's on. Yeah, e yeah. exactly. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's it's just amazing that way. I also think you know the internet's changed music, right? Like oh, it's man, just it's, created this cross. You, you know what's great? My, my my son who's now seventeen. I remember like about he was twelve years old, and he came to me one day and he goes, Dad. What does the M in MTV stand for? And he was completely <laughs> serious. And I was, he was like, confused. It's like it's, it's it's music television, you know. He's like, well, why don't they play any music, you know? And and then you know, fast forward a few years later, um, we're we're in you know our car and we're driving, and and he goes, Dad, check out this new new track. It's awesome. I love it. And he puts on um, How Soon Is Now by the Smiths. Wow. And. I was like, you're right, son. This is <laughs> awesome. It, it, Thirty years is new, you know. With the, you know, and but that's the great thing. It's like anybody can find any record today now, and it's everything that you click on is something. That, if it's your ears are for hearing it for the first time, then it's fresh. It's brand new. Yeah, and, I, I I hear that every day, right? And uh, so sometimes you think you're if you're playing a core anchor track, like you know, I played something from The Clash, London Calling, yeah. uh, recently, and somebody reached out and was like, who is that? You know, so yeah. one, you assume everybody would know that record. You can't assume that. Yeah. Every time we play anything on the radio, people are hearing it for the very first time, whether it's the Beatles, the Clash, or yeah. some brand new record nobody's ever heard of. But also I think just the way people are f sharing files, you have artists like MIA who are creating mm -hmm. really different sort of sounds mm -hmm. um, because people are exposed to all different types of music from all over the world. Yeah. And... You know, it's less about a style or a genre. It's just about what sounds good. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> good uh, stuff. Michael Frontin, Spearhead, live on the afternoon show again. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, have a great time in Seattle playing tonight at the uh, Fisher Green stage, part of Bumbershoot. And, uh, man, it's a good time to be alive today here on the yeah. afternoon show, KEXP. Discover great music at kexp.org.